Deutsche Welle German pronunciation, DTVL, German Wave, in German or DW is Germany's public international broadcaster. DW also known as Voice of Germany VOG, the service is available in 30 languages. DW's satellite television service consists of channels in English, German, Spanish, and Arabic. While funded by the German government, the work of DW is regulated by the Deutsche Welle Act, meaning that content is always independent of government influence. DW is a member of the European Broadcasting Union DW offers regularly updated articles on its news website and runs its own Center for International Media Development, DW Academy. The broadcast's stated goals are to convey Germany as a liberal, democratic state based on the rule of law. To produce reliable news coverage and to provide access to the German language, DW has been broadcasting since 1953. It is headquartered in Bonn, where its radio programs are produced. Television broadcasts are produced almost entirely in Berlin. Both locations create content for DW's news website. As of 2018, around 1,500 employees and 1,500 freelancers from 60 countries work for Deutsche Welle in its offices in Bonn and Berlin. According to DW, its output reaches 157 million people worldwide every week. The Director General of DW is Peter Limborg. History DW's first shortwave broadcast took place on 3 May 1953 with an address by the then West German president, Theodor Hughes. On of June 1953, ARD public broadcasters signed an agreement to share responsibility for Deutsche Welle. At first, it was controlled by Nordwestdeutscher Rundfunk In 1955, NWDR split into Norddeutscher Rundfunk and Westdeutscher Rundfunk WDR. WDR assumed responsibility for Deutsche Welle programming. In 1960, Deutsche Welle became an independent public body after a court ruled that broadcasting from Germany was part of the federal government's foreign affairs function. On 7 June 1962 DW joined ARD as a national broadcasting station. Deutsche Welle was originally headquartered in the West German city of Cologne. After reunification, when much of the government relocated to Berlin, the station's headquarters moved to Bonn. Logos Broadcast languages Asterisk partly by Deutschlandfunk until 1993. Topic: German reunification. With German reunification in 1990, Radio Berlin International (RBI), East Germany's international broadcaster, ceased to exist. Some of the RBI staff joined Deutsche Welle and DW inherited some broadcasting facilities, including transmitting facilities at Nauen, as well as RBI's frequencies. DW TV began as Rias TV, a television station launched by the West Berlin broadcaster Rias Radio in the American sector, Rundfunk im Amerikanischen Sektor in August 1988. The fall of the Berlin Wall the following year and German reunification in 1990 meant that Rias TV was to be closed down. On 1 April 1992, Deutsche Welle inherited the Rias TV broadcast facilities, using them to start a German and English language television channel broadcast via satellite, DW TV, adding a short Spanish broadcast segment the following year. In 1995, it began 24-hour operation 12 hours German, 10 hours English, 2 hours Spanish. At that time, DW TV introduced a new news studio and a new logo. Deutsche Welle took over some of the former independent radio broadcasting service Deutschlandfunk's foreign language programming in 1993, when Deutschlandfunk was absorbed into the new Deutschlandradio. In addition to radio and television programming, DW sponsored some published material. For example, the South Asia Department published German Heritage, a series written for the South Asia program in 1967 and in 1984 published African Writers on the Air. Both publications were transcripts of DW programming. <laughs> Internet presence 
In September 1994, Deutsche Welle was the first public broadcaster in Germany with an Internet presence, initially www-dw.gmd.de, hosted by the GMD Information Technology Research Center. For its first two years, the site listed little more than contact addresses, although DW's news journal was broadcast in Realadia from Real Server beginning in 1995, and Suddutch Zeitung's initial web presence, which included news articles from the newspaper, shared the site. In 1996, it evolved into a news website using the URL dwell.de. In 2001, the URL changed to www.dw-world.de, and was changed again in 2012, to www.dw.de. Deutsche Welle purchased the domain DW.com, which previously belonged to Diamondware. In 2013, DW had attempted to claim ownership of the address in 2000, without success. DW eventually moved to the www.dw.com domain on the 22nd of June 2015. DW's news site is in seven core languages Arabic, Chinese, English, German, Spanish, Portuguese for Brazil, and Russian, as well as a mixture of news and information in 23 other languages in which Deutsche Welle broadcasts. Persian became the site's eighth focus language in 2007. German and European news is DW's central focus, but the site also offers background information about Germany and German language courses. Deutsch, Warum nicht, literally, German, why not, is a personal course for learning the German language, created by Deutsche Welle and the Goethe Institute. Recent events In 2001, Deutsche Welle in conjunction with ARD and ZDF founded the German TV subscription TV channel for North American viewers. The project was shut down after four years owing to low subscriber numbers. It has since been replaced by the DWTV channel, also a subscription service. Unlike most other international broadcasters, DWTV does not charge terrestrial stations for use of its programming, and as a result, journal and other programs are rebroadcast on numerous public broadcasting stations in several countries, including the United States, Australia, and New Zealand. In the Philippines, selected Anglophone programs are shown nationwide on Net25. Deutsche Welle is still suffering from financial and staffing cuts. Its budget was reduced by about €75 million Euros over five years, and of the 2,200 employees it had in 1994, only 1,200 remain. Further cuts are still expected. In 2003, the German government passed a new Deutsche Welle Act, which defined DW as a tri media organization, making the Deutsche Welle website an equal partner with DW TV and DW Radio. The website is available in 30 languages, but focuses on German, English, Spanish, Russian, Brazilian Portuguese, Chinese, and Arabic. Persian became the eighth focus language in 2007. In March 2009, DWTV expanded its television services in Asia with two new channels, namely DWTV Asia and DWTV Asia Plus. DWTV Asia DWTV ASEAN in German contains 16 hours of German programming and 8 hours in English, whilst DWTV Asia Plus contains 18 hours of English programs plus 6 hours of German programs. In August 2009, DWTV's carriage in the United Kingdom on Sky Channel 794 ceased, although the channel continues to be available via other European satellites receivable in the UK. In 2011, DW announced a major reduction of service including the closure of most of its FM services in the Balkans except for Romani, but that it would expand its network of FM partners in Africa. The radio production for Hausa, Kiswahili, French, and Portuguese for Africa were optimized for FM broadcasts and DW also produces a regional radio magazine daily in English, to be rebroadcast by partners in Africa. Audio content in Arabic is distributed online, via mobile, or rebroadcast by partners. DW announced it would focus on FM partnerships for Bengali, Urdu, Dari, Pashto, and Indonesian for South Asia, India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. On 1 November 2011, DW discontinued shortwave broadcasts in German, Russian, Persian, and Indonesian and ended its English service outside Africa. Chinese programming was reduced from 120 minutes to 60 minutes a week. 
As of November 2011, DW only broadcast radio programming via shortwave in Amharic, Chinese, Dari, English and French for Africa, Hausa, Kiswahili, Pashto, Portuguese for Africa and Urdu. The budget of the Deutsche Welle for 2016 was 301.8 million euros. On the 25th of February 2018, DWTV published The Climate Cover-up: Big Oil's Campaign of Deception. 2018 after documents confirmed big oil companies have known the burning of fossil fuels impacts climate since 1957 topic <inaudible> rebranding television news on the 22nd of june 2015 dwtv launched a 24 hour english language news channel with a new design and a new studio as part of a rebrand to dw news Previously, DW's news programs were called Journal and broadcast in English in 3, 15 and 30-minute blocks. The new channel offers 30-minute updates every hour and 60-minute programs twice a day on weekdays. DW News broadcasts from Berlin but frequently has live social media segments hosted from a specially designed studio in Bonn. The German, Spanish and Arabic channels also received a new design. At the same time, DW's news website moved from a to URL to .com and added a social media stream to its front page. The refreshed DW services were launched under the tagline Made for Minds. Topic: <laughs> Shortwave relay stations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Transmitter sites in Germany. The Julek radio transmitter site began operation in 1956 with 11 100 kW Telefunken transmitters. The Wertachel site was authorized in 1972 and began service with four 500 kW transmitters. By 1989 there were 15 transmitters, four of which relayed the Voice of America. The Nauen transmitter site was inherited from Radio Berlin International. RBI's Russian made three 500 kW and one 100 kW transmitters were replaced by four Telefunken 500 kW transmitters and four rotatable antennas. Deutsche Well no longer uses any of transmitters in Germany. Topic: <laughs> Shortwave relay stations outside Germany. Trincomalee, Sri Lanka, 1984 to 2013, sold to Sri Lanka Broadcasting Cooperation. Three times 250 kilowatts shortwave transmitters. One times 400 kilowatts medium wave transmitter. Twenty antennas to be verified. Kigali, Rwanda, a relay station in Kigali, Rwanda, was inaugurated on the 30th of August 1963 and provided coverage for Africa. This relay station closed the 28th of March 2015. 4 times 250 kilowatts shortwave transmitters. Signs Portugal closed on the 30th of October 2011 and was due to be dismantled after a few months. 3 times 250 kilowatts shortwave transmitters DW used a relay station in Malta had 3 SW and 1 600 kWmW transmitter and gave partial coverage of the Americas, Southern Asia and the Far East. It was inaugurated on 29 July 1974 in exchange for a grant of almost 1 million British pounds. The station closed in January 1996. Formerly, DW shared a transmitting station on Antigua in the Caribbean with the BBC. It was inaugurated on 1 November 1976 and closed on 31 March 2005. It had a relay exchange with the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation that allowed DW to use two 250 kW transmitters in Sackville, New Brunswick until that facility closed down in 2012. Relay stations leasing transmitter time to DW In 2013, DW leased time on the following relay stations Woafferton, United Kingdom BBC World Service Kranji, Singapore BBC Far Eastern Relay Station Dabea, United Arab Emirates United Emirates Radio Nakhon Sawan, Thailand BBC East Asian Relay Station Ascension Island BBC Atlantic Relay Station Myrton, South Africa Topic 
Directors General The 12th of October 1960 to the 29th of February 1968 Hans Otto Wiesmann The 1st of March 1968 to the 29th of February 1980 Walter Steigner The 1st of March 1980 to the 8th of December 1980 Conrad Allers The 19th of December 1980 to the 30th of June 1981 Heinz Fellhauer Interim the 1st of July 1981 to the 30th of June 1987, Klaus Schutz. The 1st of July 1987 to the 30th of June 1989, Heinz Fellhauer. The 1st of July 1989 to the 31st of March 2001, Dieter Weirich. The 1st of April 2001 to the 30th of September 2001, Reinhard Hartstein, interim as deputy intendant. The 1st of October 2001 to the 30th of September 2013, Eric Betterman. The 1st of October 2013 present, Peter Limborg. Topic: DW Services. DW Radio, Shortwave, Cable TV, Satellite and Digital Radio (DRM) broadcasting in 29 languages, with a 24-hour service in German and English. DW TV, satellite television broadcasting mainly in German, English, Arabic and Spanish www.dw.com, 30 language news website Deutsche Well maintains live video streams on YouTube in German, English, Spanish and Arabic, as well as several channels with recorded videos in various categories and languages. DW Academy DW Academy is Deutsche Welle's international center for media development, media consulting and journalism training. It offers training and consulting services to partners around the world. It works with broadcasters, media organizations, and universities especially in developing and transitioning countries to promote free and independent media. The work is funded mainly by the German Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development. DW Academy's journalism traineeship is an 18-month program for young journalists that provides editorial training in the three areas in which Deutsche Welle produces content: radio, television, and online. It is aimed at aspiring journalists from Germany as well as from regions to which Deutsche Welle broadcasts. The International Media Studies. Master's program, offered in cooperation with the University of Bonn and the University Bonn Rhein Sieg of Applied Sciences, is based at DW Academy. The four semester program combines the disciplines of media development, media regulation, and communications. The seminars are held in English and German, and the degree is aimed at media representatives from developing and transitioning countries. The managing director of DW Academy is Gerda Muir. Muir has worked as a journalist for various media outlets and as a correspondent for Interpress Service, a news agency focused on development issues. Topic. See also. Karen Helmstadt, DW presenter for the Euromax Culture and Lifestyle Show. Max Hoffman, Brussels bureau chief for DW in Belgium. Euronews. Topic. References McPhail, Thomas L. Global Communication, Theories, Stakeholders, and Trends, 2006, Blackwell Publishing. ISBN 1-4051-3427-5. Wallace, Roger, and Stanley J. Barron. The Known World of Broadcast News, International News and the Electronic Media, 1990, Routledge. ISBN 0-415-03604-6. Wood, James. History of International Broadcasting, 2000, Institution of Engineering and Technology. ISBN 0-85296-920-1. External links Official website the Bobs, the DW International Weblog Award Livestream